What the fuck happened there? That doesn't look good. Whoa, that looks like a smoke machine. What the heck? That was kind of a weird welcome today. It looked like something exploded or I don't know. Looked like the car had some issues, some serious issues actually. Of course you saw the, what was it, red pickup or couldn't really see it through all the smoke. The pickup. Looked like he had a small problem. <laughs> but anyway, the welcome was as weird as the topic actually. Of course, I completely missed it somehow or didn't have it on the radar. And even in mainstream media, well, that's less surprising, but even there in I didn't find much about it, more just like a side note. So not sure if you heard about it already. There was a rapper named Kanye West, I hope I pronounce it correctly. Of course, I'm not the rap music guy, so not sure about those guys. And he got hospitalized, let's say and his tour got cancelled because of mental problems and it wasn't actually not himself who said like oh well i have some mental problems so i better go to a clinic no he got forcefully hospitalized by his management i didn't even know if you have a manager that this manager has the power to hospitalize you but anyway that's the way it happened and why did it happen that's the more important question well he had kind of a how they said it in mainstream media rant on one of his concerts where he basically spoke out that he would have voted for Trump if he would have voted so I guess he didn't even vote and he pointed out as well that Trump has some valid points in his opinion and so on and so forth but is this now already considered mentally ill? Of course then I have to be pretty careful because I might end up hospitalized as well. Of course on most of the stuff and actually the first time I watched a concert of his uh, or not a full concert just the speech kind of he had but I have to say I pretty much agree with him and furthermore I find it actually pretty brave as a big celebrity who will lose or could lose his career over it to stand up I mean I do that stuff since what I have to lose basically not much maybe some people some friends who now think like oh we know quite a crazy guy or something like that but apart from that I don't have to lose a big career or anything of course, first of all, my employer is fully aware of what I'm doing and even since he doesn't share my opinion, I guess, on some cases, he has no problem with it. 
but for someone who has a really big career and I mean you, you could see on the reaction of the fans there that mm, not most but quite a lot of his fans didn't like what he said so most probably they will stop supporting him they won't buy his music anymore they won't buy his merchandise anymore and well if the management hospitalizes you uh, I kind of doubt this management will continue working with you or at least I would fire that fucking management but nevertheless that's actually a quite worrying point of course imagine if they can do it to such a celebrity like Kanye who has I mean I don't know but I'm pretty sure has a lot of fans and quite a lot of people who are caring if for example if he gets missing imagine if that can happen and they still can cover it up or not just covering up basically not making a fuss about it uh, well in that case what might happen to smaller people who stand up and basically speak out or are not in line with mainstream media opinion such people then obviously can get way easier missing or forced into mental hospital or jail or whatever and I wouldn't even wonder if history later on let's say in 50 years or so then shows that this was not the only case but many other people got either in prison or declared mentally ill and therefore in got into mental hospital and so on just to shut those people up I mean just take a look a couple of decades back with basically with any regime but let's take the German Nazi regime from that time we now know they brought such people who spoke up against the regime in concentration camps but what I wa wanted to point out with that is basically it happened already in history and I kind of see it happening now again Ah, and one thing I completely forgot because I immediately started with my most probably conspiracy theory about it I didn't tell you what the official mainstream media story was behind it and there's even a pretty easy reason for that of course there was no real story there was no reason giving why he was put into a mental hospital not even some cheeky reason like I don't know he went crazy or anything it was just more like side notes even even since he's back out now fortunately even that didn't make any headlines like he's now well again and so he can leave the mental hospital or anything no again just in some newspapers just some small side notes and I mean if a quite famous celebrity like him gets put into mental hospital and basically has to cancel his entire tour for it that should make some headlines normally right unless obviously you want to cover it up or you want just as few as possible people to know about it so in case I out of a sudden stop making those videos and just disappear 
maybe we check out the closest mental hospital or the closest prison cell or the closest FEMA camp. Anyway, I will keep it up with the videos and I hope you like it. If you did so, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so more people become aware of those issues. If you have any further information about it or if you have any ideas what other topics I should cover or anything else, you're very welcome to put it down in the comments. And if you didn't subscribe yet, well, just press this little subscribe button and don't miss any upcoming videos. And I see you in the next video.